New at 5, we're learning the results of a school water testing program in Massachusetts. The state fully funded the $2 million voluntary program. Any district that wanted to participate was able to. We've learned water from certain fixtures in three local schools tested positive for lead and copper. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Pixoto explains the results and what the schools are doing now to fix the problem. More than 800 schools participated in the program, and now we've learned water in some Attleboro, Fall River, and New Bedford schools tested positive for lead or copper. Lead in the water, it's an invisible but very serious threat. Children who are exposed to high levels of lead can face learning problems, slowed growth, anemia, and more. Nearly 150 Massachusetts communities signed up for the state-funded water testing program put on by the Department of Environmental Protection. Water was tested from May of last year through February, and every water fixture in participating schools was tested, from sinks to drinking fountains. Eyewitness News sifted through the results and found several schools in Attleboro tested positive for lead or copper. Superintendent David Sawyer says the fixtures in question have already been replaced. He told Eyewitness News in a statement, the testing showed that there were certain fixtures that were not used regularly, so water was sitting in them and a certain amount of lead was leaching into the water. All of those fixtures have been replaced or shut off. All of the water the students have access to is safe. Similarly, in New Bedford, business manager Andrew O'Leary says all of the problematic fixtures had been sitting idle for several months or even years, and they've also already been fixed. He said in a statement, overall, we tested about 4,000 fixtures and we had a response rate of about 5% above the threshold. All of those fixtures were shut off. Part of the program included teaching the school districts how to test water themselves. The DEP recommends schools test their water every one to two years. In the control room, I'm Julianne Pixoto, Eyewitness News. And we have the results of these water tests on our website. There you can also find the result of water testing done on schools here in Rhode Island. It's all on WPRI.com.